What's happening guys? Heavy Heart here and today we're going to take a look at the Ibanez Xiphos Iron Label XPIRE guitar. guys straight off the bat i love this thing i've had it for a couple of years now they only made this guitar in production for one year and that was in 2015. now now me and none of my musician friends can figure out why they would stop making and building this guitar after just one year i guess they weren't selling that many but this is one of the best ibanez guitars i've played and it's made in indonesia it's not even a usa made or or Japan made, made in Japan, and I have a made in Japan guitar as well, a Prestige, and this this holds up. This holds up just fine with the Prestige, if not better for certain things. Um, this is an absolute metal machine, you, as you can tell with the famous X shape there, and we're gonna go over the specs real quick. Boom, boom. Let's do it. So first off, we have, I'm going to start off the top. We have a reverse headstock with the Ibanez logo right there. Just clean Ibanez, not, not like the RG with the uh, little cool design there. It's just straight up. All right, we got a nice little simple truss rod cover, nothing crazy. We got the locking nuts for the Floyd Rose at top. Keep my groove gear up there just for no reason at all. And we got on the back, we got some, we got some nice tuners. We got a nice maple and bobinga bobinga neck and it's a nitro wizard neck i believe yes it is a three-piece maple slash bobinga neck with a nitro wizard profile which is it's not super thin but it's got a little bit of a i don't even know what you would call it it's it's just a little a little bigger than the 20 inch radius uh wizard necks that are super fast it's a little thicker than that but it lends itself better for chords and for really heavy punchy tones uh, especially when playing metal which is basically all i play with this thing um it's really what it's best at doing if you get one i would just recommend using it for rock and metal it's really the best that you can uh, use it for uh, we just got some uh standard tuners on the back here it looks like I can't really see. They don't have a brand name on them, so I'm guessing they're just um, uh, regular regular tuners there. Black tuners. On the back, it says the model number, XPIR20E, made in Indonesia. Okay, we got these side dots, these side black dots only, all the way up the fretboard. Nothing on top. Just straight black, super metal, super stealth. The whole thing is just black. And I love it. It's kind of sexy, actually, too. Uh -huh. It looks like uh, jumbo frets. I'm pretty sure they're stainless steel, I would imagine. Uh, 24 frets here. We got a standard 25 and a half inch uh, scale length, which is just fine. It's an ebony fretboard, which is really nice for metal. And it's just, it's perfect for it, for the style. Really nice black here. It's kind of like a, uh, not stealth black, but it's pretty uh, almost grayish, which is really nice doesn't really get dirty that easily and it's just really sounds really punchy in the mix so moving down the pickups are emgs and i was a little uh skeptical at first because i you know all the hype around emgs <laughs> but with this guitar and the style that i'm playing it with they sound great they sound really good we got an EMG 80 in the bridge, 81 in the bridge, rather, and then EMG 60 in the neck, and they're both active ceramic, and they sound really, really good. They're just very consistent, which in metal, that's kind of what you want, especially when using a lot of saturation and overdrive and distortion and all that stuff. It's just what you do. It's perfect for it. And I actually like them. I'm not, I was going to switch them out, but they're they're doing just fine and they they sound the best out of every guitar besides my strandberg for playing metal in the mix especially so i have no reason to change them out we have a floyd rose bridge 
Uh, no, we don't have a Floyd Rose bridge, but it's similar to a Floyd Rose. It is an Edge Zero Two bridge. Works really good. All right, we get the uh, the low lows. A little dive bomb here. I'm very bad at dive bombs though, so I'm not dying back Daryl, all right? So sue me. We have a single volume knob, no toe knob, just volume, and then a three-way toggle switch, neck, combo, bridge. I use mostly the bridge for a lot of things, uh, even for leads, sometimes it's, it's a little bit better. But the neck is pretty creamy, it's really... Uh... bad we have some really nice slight bevels throughout the body see the nice contour here try to get in the nice lighting see that contour right there really nice all the way around the body all the way around the body nice little uh, sharp divot there all right input jack right on the side there right in the bottom which is also kind of where the uh, strap button is on the bottom and then the strap button is right on the side here this could have been better placed i'll admit um but yeah whatever it, it does the job it's, it doesn't get too in the way otherwise it's good bolt-on neck obviously bolt-on neck battery powered battery pack here Let's see if i can get that better in the shot battery pack Tre tremolo covering yada 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 electronics there you go and another one down here a lot of parts in this one, but it's really good in the back. And everything is black, so it's it, it's very stealthy. That's pretty much it for this guitar. Very simple, very straightforward, straight to the point, um, very pointy, <laughs> and uh, very good for metal. the idea so very good for metal if i do the upper register it sounds something like this pinch harmonics or whatever that was okay so that was the bridge emg 81 now let's go to split right in the middle
pretty good. Leads. <laughs> G60 in the neck. Yeah, so that's a little rhythm. Now lead. So we got a little bit of distortion using mostly the uh, EVH 5153 from the Axe FX 2 XL. All right, now it's time for some clean tones. Let's start on the bridge. sensitive all right so now we got that now maybe now a little bit more effects let's try real quick with some more washy reverb and some chorus
we go. So, my final thoughts on this guitar. If you can find one used, buy one. It's really good for metal. They're very rare, so they're gonna, I bought this for around 1200 bucks, I believe used, but it was in mint condition. I'd probably say it's worth around that. Um, so, even used, it, it holds up really good. Even though it's in, made in Indonesia, don't let that fool you. This guitar is made really, really well, at least this one is. And it just looks sick, it looks super metal, it plays, it looks the part and it plays the part. I really have no complaints uh, very much at all. I just love playing this thing. And it sounds really good in the mix with metal and rock, like I said. You can even get some really nice clean tones. So that last one I did with the chorus and lots of delay and reverb kind of sounded like a little cynic -y, a little like cynic, maybe? Let me know in the comments if you agree. I don't really know. Sounded good though. The Edge Zero Two is actually holds up pretty good. It's a little out of tune right now, so I know. It's been out of tune the whole video. I'm not trying to tune it. I don't know how to tune Floyd Rose style guitars. I have 10 to 52 strings on this right now and it's been it's been great. Usually that's what I go to because this is in drop C by the way. Forgot to mention that was this guitar is in drop C. So everything I played was in drop C and uh, it just feels really good in that tuning. It feels like it it feels right for this guitar. That kind of range in that key as well. So I think I'm using clear tone strings right now. I go between clear tone and Diodario New York, New York XL. Um, I used to like elixirs a lot too, which I still do. So elixirs are great. Yeah, there you have it. Ibanez Xyphos Iron Label XPIR 20E guitar. Get yourself one and start shredding. Boom, baby. All right, guys. Until next time, Heavy Heart signing off. Peace.